Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Katie. I can't even believe that it's 2021 already, guys. It's so crazy to think that we're coming up on one year of having these pandemic lockdowns and it's just, I can't believe how fast it went by. So, I know it's a little late, but I finally had a moment to sit down and talk about things. It took me a little while to actually sit down and think about what I wanted to discuss in this video. And I feel like I finally have figured it out and I finally actually was able to put my goals down on paper. It wasn't something that I did on January 1st. It was something that I really wanted to be intentional about and really thoughtful about. So. I'm going to tell you guys the goals that I have for 2021. I know a lot of people think that making New Year's resolutions is a stupid thing. And to be honest, I kind of do too. Hear me out though. There is never a bad time to buckle down and start working on your goals, whatever they are. I personally like that feeling, that fresh feeling of it's a new year, what can I accomplish? But I do have goals that I do start throughout the year. Kind of when they pop into my head, I, you know, sit down and say, okay, how can I accomplish this? What steps can I break this down into that are more attainable that I can accomplish this goal? And when I do that, I'm much more likely to hit these goals. So, um... I'm going to share with you guys my goals for 2021 and some of them are goals that are left over from 2020. Some of them are goals from 2017 that I still haven't accomplished, but I've really taken the time this year to break everything down into, like I said, smaller baby step goals. So I feel like they are much more attainable for me this way. So, and some of them kind of tie into other categories but I'm going to tell you I'm going to break it down by different goal category so my first goal I'm going to tell you my lifestyle goals so one of the things that I have and if I'm looking down it's because I have my notebook with my list one of my lifestyle goals for this year is to read one book every month and it could be a novel, it could be personal development, it does not matter. I just want to read one book every month. And so for me, what I'm doing to break that down is I figure out how many pages are in the book and then I divide it by 30, 31, 20, however many days in the month that there are. So right now I am reading this book and I haven't made it very far. So this is called Boss Up and it is not your mama's business book. It has been sitting on my desk and to be honest, it was actually at the salon in my nail desk for probably a year because I figured if I had time between clients that I didn't have to do other bookkeeping type things, I would read this, but I haven't been so I'm going to also guys like the bookmark my daughter made for me how cute is this it has glitter in it and I love it it's very cute so this is the book that I'm reading for January and guys, I'm on page 13 <laughs> it's like I've read like one page a day pretty much um but I will get through it I'm holding myself accountable so um that is one of my goals for each month of the year is to read one book another one is to get more organized at home if you've ever seen me at work, if you know me in real life and you've seen me at the salon, you'll know that I am meticulous about my setup. Everything gets set up the exact same way, every single service. I just, I love the organization. I love having everything there. The difference is at the salon, I'm only one person that I have to hold accountable and whose things I have to worry about. I have about. to worry about anybody else who works with me there because I rent space. So I am in charge of my own tools, my own supplies, things like that. And I am super organized when it comes to that. At home is another story. There's three other people who live here. And, you know, my wife is at work 40 hours a week or however many hours she works during the week. You know, my daughter splits time between my house and her dad's house. And, and then I have, you know, my little guy who just 
is like a tiny tornado and makes a mess wherever he goes. So I've been working one room at a time, one area at a time, be it maybe, okay, today I'm going to clean off my desk and clear off my like office space at home. Or today and yesterday, I've been working in my daughter's room. I have gone through so much stuff. Bags and bags and bags of clothes to donate. So um, I'm really excited to be getting rid of those. I just can't wait to be free from all of this clutter. And I've been waiting for everyone else to kind of be here so I can say, okay, let's go through your clothes. Let's work through, you know, let's go through this drawer. Let's go through that. Let's go through this basket. I'm not doing that anymore. I've asked people a million times and I'm not doing it anymore. So now I'm making executive decisions. I feel like I know what everybody wants to keep, what they're wearing. I've been kind of trying to keep track of that. So if I haven't seen you wear it and I think you might want it, I'll put it aside. But if I haven't seen you wear it and I don't think you're going to want it or I don't like it, <laughs> it's terrible. Um, I'm donating it. I don't care anymore. I need to get rid of this stuff. So that's another thing that I am working on and I'm really excited to be doing that. I think my daughter's room is probably going to take me the better part of this weekend next week to completely go through and get that all taken care of, but that's okay. The next thing in my lifestyle goals is to learn a new nail skill. So this is like lifestyle slash financial for me. This is two different two different categories, but they tie in together. So when I learn a new nail skill, it's something that I can add to my business menu. So that way I can earn more money when people start doing whatever the service is. So it could just be a new application, you know, a new way to apply product. It could be a new service completely. It could be learn a new nail art technique anything like that. So that's another thing that I'm going to do this year to help my business. So that I'm also really excited about. I haven't decided what I want to learn yet, what courses I want to take, if I want to teach myself, but I will get there eventually. And then another thing on my lifestyle goals list is less screen time, which also ties into a lot of my other categories, you know, including reading a book and getting more organized. So that is the less screen time thing for myself is going to be kind of across the board on all categories. So the next category that I'm going to go over is my fitness and health goals for the year. Um, one goal, and this is, I think my top goal is to lose 50 pounds this year, which averages out to approximately one pound a week, which is a very healthy, doable, slow and steady kind of approach. And that is my goal. If I lose more, fantastic. But that is what I'm aiming to do is one pound a week. Or in the past, I would just say lose weight as a general goal where I'm putting a number on it and I can break it down into how much do I need to lose each week it's much more attainable for me. Another one is to drink more water. I've been trying to drink a gallon of water every single day, which really helps with not binge eating because that's my issue. Um, another one is to make better food choices. So if we order takeout, instead of getting a bacon cheeseburger with fries and everything else, I might get, which actually I have been getting this when we do get takeout, is a turkey burger and then I get a vegetable on the side and I don't feel like I'm missing anything. The turkey burger from a place that we order from or have been ordering from on occasion is so good. I don't feel like I'm not satisfied after I eat. The next, the next goal is to cook more at home, which I cook a lot as it is, but I would say a couple nights a week, three maybe nights a week, we are getting takeout and it's expensive. So that kind of ties into my financial goals and my fitness goals, but I have gotten a Ninja Foodie, the deluxe one, the, um, it's a pressure cooker, slow cooker, all those things, air fryer, all in one. So I've been cooking a lot in that and I love it, but I just need to get better about like planning my meals. And it would be really helpful if my family would tell me what they wanted to eat that week. Or I'm just gonna start making executive decisions. This is what I mean. If you don't like that, then too bad. 
this is what I made. Make yourself something else. I don't care. Another one is to go outside more. And I have to say I did really good with this in 2020 because I was home for so long when my business was shut down. So I was able to actually get outside and crazy enough, I actually got a tan, which I haven't had a real tan from being outside in since I was in high school, probably. So I'm definitely going to try to get outside more again this year. I did really well last year. We're going to do it again this year, I hope. And um, my last fitness goal is to hit 10,000 steps as often as possible. This is not going to be something that happens every single day. Not putting a ton of pressure on myself because if I don't hit 10,000 steps, I don't hit 10,000 steps. That doesn't mean that I didn't exercise that day. That doesn't mean that I'm not being as active as I should. And there are going to be days where I don't feel like being active and that's okay. So the next set of goals that I wanted to tell you guys that I set for myself are my financial goals for the year. And some of these goals are pretty big. I'm not going to lie. And some of these goals I've been working towards for a couple years now and just things haven't aligned. I'm going to continue working towards it and that's all you can do. So my first financial goal is to pay off as much debt as possible. So I added up my total number of debts and then broke it down into smaller goals actually down to weekly how much I would need to pay towards these debts or save or whatever. I don't want to wait until the end of the year. I would like to get most of them paid by June and get those off my credit report and get it all taken care of because I'm hopeful that I will be able to buy a house this year. So that is one of my goals. And so, yeah, I'm going to pay off as much debt as possible. So Jackie and I have been going door dashing a lot and we can definitely make it happen if we bust our butts. And if you guys want to see more door dashing videos, because I know we posted one uh, a while ago, but if you guys would like to see more door dashing videos, just let me know down below. I'd be happy to film those for you. Um, but yeah, my next financial goal is to create at least one stream of passive income. So passive income is something that you can earn at any time, whether you write an ebook or you have real estate or something like that. So my goal is to create one stream, at least one stream of passive income this year. And I haven't set any goals for how much I would like it to make me, but I have a number in my head that keeps coming up and I'm, I'm going to work towards hitting that number. So let's segue into my next two goals and that is to become monetized on YouTube. So becoming monetized on YouTube is something that I could use towards my goal of having one passive income stream. And I'm also working towards hopefully joining the creator fund on TikTok. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you should go over there and follow me. My name on TikTok is Katie Roberts 218 I'm hoping that this year will be the year that I become monetized on YouTube. And I've really been excited to work towards it. I'm about 50% of the way of where I need to be. So I'm excited. I did not consistently upload and film last year. So that's going to be another one of my goals for this year is to anyway, I'm going to try and film, edit, upload on a more consistent basis. I've been trying to on TikTok and I have a couple different TikToks. So I've been trying, you know, if I'm not on one channel, I'm on the other. And one of my videos actually went viral on TikTok, which was totally unexpected and has like over 350,000 views and like 30,000 something likes on it. So it's really cool. Um, maybe that channel will be the one that gets monetized or I get to join the creator fund. I'm not sure, but we'll see maybe both channels that would be really cool and so yeah that would be a great form of passive income i'm also trying to increase my income total 
this year versus last year, which won't be hard to do because I did not work from March until June or the end of March until June 1st. So there were a couple months that I didn't work and maybe I should compare it to 2019 actually. No, whatever. I'm just going to compare it to last year. Um, I did also change my work schedule last year after we came back to work in June because Jackie and I decided not to put the baby back in daycare. We were just too concerned that he was going to get sick. So that being said, um, I added up our income, both of our combined income for last year. And I am hoping to, I'm hoping to do like 10 to $12,000 more this year than I did last year. So you know, if I create the passive income stream, that can go towards that. Um, if we're door dashing more, that can go towards that. So there's a few different things that I can do. Um, I have some other ideas that I'm going to work on and hopefully that will generate some more income for us. So those are some of the big things. And then my biggest financial goal that I'm working towards is to buy a house. We live, since Jackie and I have been together, we have lived in a shared living type situation, community living, and we are tired of it. So we're going to work really hard and do whatever we have to do to be able to buy a house. I don't know if I said this either. One of my other goals is to buy a second car. If we buy a second car, then I will be able to do more like gig work and wow. will increase my credit score when we buy the car. So that's another goal. These are kind of all over the place. They're not necessarily in the order that I'm going to work on them. I think that's everything. I think that's all the things that I wanted to share with you guys. Those are my lifestyle, fitness, and financial goals for 2021. Will I accomplish all of them? Probably not, but that's okay. The more that I accomplish the more I will be likely to accomplish. So if you guys have any goals for 2021, I would love to hear them and let me know what you're working towards. I hope the beginning of this year has been chaos free for you guys. And I hope that the rest of this year goes better. I know a lot of people had the worst year of their lives in 2020. And I'm thankful that I'm able to say that 2020 was not my worst year. 2019 was actually the worst year of my life. So we're all going to get through this. Things are going to get better. I have hope that things are going to get better. Please, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know what you guys like to watch, what you don't like to watch. And if you have any goals or any resolutions, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are working towards. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I love seeing that notification that someone has subscribed to my channel. And it's going to help keep me accountable for uploading on a more consistent basis because I don't like to let people I'll talk to you guys soon.